there are two main types of use of models. One is to identify the parameters that matter and then to provoke research on doing that. The other is, as I described, a, a sort of parable. Um, I'll give you a, an example, which I always like, of a, of a parable story. There's a rather famous model by developed by an economist called George Akerlof, uh, which is the lemons model. And the proposition with which he started was uh, General Motors cars, some of them were called lemons. They were supposedly cars that were made on Friday afternoon when people had been out and <laughs> had a beer or two and weren't focusing on the, the job with quite the precision uh, that they might have during the rest of the week. And after you've bought a car and you used it for a year or two, you know whether it's a lemon or not. But if you want to sell it, the buyer does not know what, uh, whether it's a lemon. And um, uh, how, what happens to the market when you have that kind of asymmetry of information between buyer and seller? Now, Akerlof described the kind of dynamics of that kind of model and explained why these sort of markets don't work terribly well. And people have talked about lemons now for 40 years as an illustration of how uh, markets may not work very well when the buyer knows more than the seller knows. So that IPOs, for example, may have a similar structure, uh, that the buyer, uh, the seller obviously knows no more than the buyer is. So there's the lemons problem. But I remember talking about that at a conference, and someone got up after I'd finished and said he was the general secretary of the Retail Motor Federation. And this story was a, a monstrous libel on his honest, hard-working member. And uh, I thought there were two things wrong with that. One was, uh, that's not most people's experience of used car dealers. But the other really was that this isn't a story about used cars. It's a way of thinking about a, a generic problem in economics, which is that information is unequally distributed and we need to find institutions. And it's interesting to think about how that happens in the used car market and elsewhere, how you find institutions that deal with, tackle that problem, the asymmetry of information. Once again, it's the model as parable, is the model as means of flagging for you what you need to be thinking about, what you need to do research on, rather than the model, as it were, giving you a an accurate statement of what's going to happen.